Yeku, and today I'll be showing you how to create an OCP on Tokyo. OCP simply means one click checkout product. So you can either come to create and click on product or go to your sales funnel and click on my product. Okay, so here are the number of products I, I have under my physical products. Once click a digital product, click here and one click checkout product. Okay, so I'll go ahead to click on add products. Okay, so for the purpose of this video, I'm going to be creating an OCP for a digital product. Okay, so let's pick an image. Internal name. Your internet name can be anything. Your customers or clients won't see this. So you could just give it any name, and but your official name would be seen to all. Okay, so this will just be like it's a one line sentence describing what your product is about or what they stand to gain or what they stand to learn or what they stand to you know, benefit from your product. Usually the shorter the better because um you just need a short description to capture people's attention and make them know that okay yes this is the real deal so you can just go for any product team if you have a different product team that is not shown here your company's logo color or something just come here and input the color code and it will automatically update so for this i'll just go for um green and yes, if you have a custom domain name, just simply click on use domain name, click on your custom domain name and you go ahead to save. But for the purpose of this video, I'll use softlink domain name, email marketing ebook. You can also change this um, prefix, uh, suffix rather, you can change the suffix to just um, ebook or email marketing, whatever it is you'd like and click on save. Okay, save and next. Okay, yes, so this price point, this is the button your customers would see. So for this video, I'm going to be creating different buttons, different price points, so you'd know how it works. So price points, one says one time. So that means once they click the button, it takes them to the payment gateway and they pay once. So what do you want them to see on your button? They could just click, type, Click here to get your ebook now. So this is what they would see on the button. So price description, you could just say one-time payment, recurring payment, but as we are working on one time, we'll just click type in one time payment. Okay, so do you have other payment integration gateway integrated in your account? If you do, this would be visible. So you'll be able to click on whichever you have. Or well, as you can see, I have just Wallet Pay. I don't have any integrated, so I'll use just Wallet Pay. So your currency, how much is this ebook going for? Let's say it's going for 5,000 Naira. So if you want to accept in other currencies, you can accept in other currencies. It should be $50 and 20 pounds so if you want more currencies you can just click on show more currencies and tick the currency you want and impute the amount that is equivalent to 5000 naira. so if you want to accept ghanaian cd you'll be like okay 1000 ghanaian cd is equal to 5000 naira. so this would be 1000 but if you are not accepting this is fine and you click on save so let me edit now so that is for the first price point. So if I want to add another price point, that means I want to add another button. You come here and click add another price point. So this is price point two. What is the name? We're going to be going for recurring payments. We've created a one-time payment button. So that's the whole extent of 
OCP. OCP allows you to collect payments in different forms, different ways, because um, you might have customers or clients that are interested in your product, but they cannot pay at once. Rather than leaving them or losing them, you can as well give them different payment options. So you have the one-time payment, you have the recurring payment, and you have the installment payment. So here, I'm just going to click on price point name. Click here to get your ebook price point description. This is recurring payment, so they know that it's recurring. And I also impute my my price. Yes. So reoccurrence, how often do you want your customers to be charged? Is it weekly? Is it two months? Is it monthly? Is it yearly? So I'll just go for monthly and number of retries if payment fails. As we know, network is really so not good in Nigeria. So someone might try once and might not go. So you'd want to give them the opportunity to be able to try multiple times so as to make payment. So I, I'll just put this as three times and yes. So that is for the second price point. This is recurring payment. So you can go ahead to save it. So you would see the different price points you have. You have the first price point, which is one time, second price point recurring. So now let's go ahead to create the third price point, which is installment. So you click on add another price point and you click on installments. So here we're going to click here to get your ebook now. Price point description, we're going to put installments. Okay, so Nigerian Naira. So as a, this is installment. So do you want them to pay twice? Do you want them to pay three times? Do you want them to pay 10 times? So let's assume the first payment should be 3,000 Naira. 20, 30 dollars and 10 pounds. So subsequent payment should be how much? So the balance would be 2,000 Naira for the Naira. $20 for the for the dollar and 10 pounds for the pounds sorry yes so how should your installments work or is it once or twice or three times or four times depend this depends on your payment option like how high your ticket is if it's three thousand if it's thirty thousand you want them to pay three thousand three times ten ten thousand you could do three go for three if you want it to be two times you just divide it as you see fit then you come here how often should they be charged when next should they be charged for the next installment should it be the next month should it be the next week or in two weeks time or quarterly or depends on how um, you want it so you could put two weeks number of retrials or also to say three times so, and you can now go ahead to say save okay yeah so we have our price points our installment price points we have our um, recurring price point and we have our one-time price points okay so we'll go ahead to shipping cost this is a digital product so you have no need for shipping fees so we'll just go ahead to save Okay, so we move to refund policy. So do you have a refund policy? If you have a seven day refund policy or 14 day refund policy, or you do not have any refund policy, you just click according to your company, your business, and you click on save. Okay, so we click on save and next. Okay, here that says the thank you page. So what would you like your customers to see once they successfully make payments? So you just click here and click on your thank you page. Please note that you should have created a thank you page and published it under my pages. So you'll be able to see your different pages here. So right now I only have a page that is published under Instagram bio. So all the other pages, if I don't publish them, I won't see them here. Or you could as well just click on this and impute and paste your thank you page link. If you have another um, page you want them to see, which is not on soft link or somewhere else or something else you want them to see, just click here and click on and paste your link. But for this video, since I don't have a thank you page saved, I'm just going to click on configure later. You can click on configure later, you can click on save. So that is for the first price points. 
the second price point you have to do the same for the second price point come here click on your second price point this is on it then click on your thank you page do the same click here you save it click here click on your third price points click your thank you page and you also save or configure later as you wish so okay so we move out to checkout form field what do you want them to fill before they make payments you want email phone name and phone number usually required and if you want to add more fields you can just click on add field and if maybe if you want them to drop a comment or something just click on it and add another field and save so for our product quantity this is a digital product so it it will actually have no quantity so you just leave it as no quantity any amount can be any time number of time they want to pay for it they can pay for it so you click on save and we'll move on to the next cart abandonment tagging so like i uh, always say tag your customers this helps you know the customers that are making payments that what type of business they are making what type of product they are making payments for the most so you would be able to make informed decisions for your for your product for your business so here i'm just going to pick you can just price points which price points do you want to tag so the first one click here to get your ebook now select category for your tag soft link list no so this are this is the only tag i have so no i don't want to use this tag i'm just going to come here and click on create new tag so here i'm going to click on the tag category what do i want to name this tag so i'll just click on here and type email marketing tag so i'll just click on add tag so yes i already have my tag so email marketing tag and i'll just impute the same thing email marketing tag So do you want your tag to expire? It expires in what number of days? So if you want it to expire, click here and click impute your details. So, but no, I do not want my tag to expire. I'm just going to leave it and save. So we've added the tag for the first price point. Click here to get your ebook now. So Okay, so for the second price point, we're just going to click here again and click the price point name. And also add our tag. So since it's the same product we're selling, I can use the same tag. So they are all coming in for the same product, but they are, it's just different ways they are coming in. And the third, my third price point. Okay, so I probably should have mentioned this so you guys don't get confused. As you can see now, you can see three click here to get your ebook now so probably when you are creating your own price point name you can click you can right click here to get your ebook now one time payments click here to get your ebook now we are current click here to get your ebook now installment so you don't get confused and you don't forget that you need to do it for the three price points because of this video i created three price points you might necessarily not have to create three price points but if you are creating more than one price point it's good to differentiate it with a different button name so the for the third price point i'm going to do the same email marketing email marketing tag and click on add yes. and i'll click on save okay so we move on to the next one as you can see I tagged all my three price points so terms and conditions do you want to activate terms and condition if yes you click here if no just leave it as it is and click on save save and next okay so cut abandonment and follow-up email so do you want to send emails to your leads when they abandon your cart if yes it is probably very good to always send emails it is actually very good to send emails to your leads 
Why? Because some might come and they might just need extra push to get them to pay or maybe when they saw your ad or promo, they were not um, in the position to pay at that moment. So if you send them a reminder, they would remember and they'll be like, oh yes, I really wanted to get this product. So you click on create a new email. So the, I pick the first price point. I'll click on this is seller cut abandonment email. So click on create a new email. Why did they abandon your email? So subject, you could probably say, did you log out by mistake? Write your name and your reply to email. This is the email they can reply to once they get the email. So you could just come here and say something very short. Doesn't have to be too long. Hi there. Okay, so just something short. And if, did you buy me say logout from the link? If yes, add the link to the sales funnel. So it's always best to just put back your link to your sales funnel. So just in case maybe they logged out by mistake or they were not ready. So once they have this in their email and they're ready, they can always go back to it and click on the link. So you just type in your link and just say, uh, let's say let's see. Let's see dot So you would have to copy your sales link and paste it here. So I just I just wrote this as my sales funnel link and you would save. Okay, so this is the first um, price point and the email, you pick your email. So you also create a follow-up email. So follow-up email is when the customer already successfully made payment. So what do you want to say to them? You could some, say something like, congratulations to be your, to be your subject line. Okay, so what would you like to tell them? You could also um, tell them like, I say you have made the right decision. You could just also just tell them give them a push and also to watch out for your emails if you have a discount if you have a discount or promo in the nearest future so and you click on save okay so for the follow-up emails select the email i just created one congratulations so i'm going to pick this and i'm going to save so that's how to set your cart abandonment and follow-up email so don't forget you have to do this for the three price points except if you do not want to do that for the three price points so you do that for all three price for cut abandonment did you log out by mistake and select follow-up email congratulations you save you also edit it and click here congratulations and save okay so this is my cut abandonment and my follow-up email so you click on save and next okay so add to mailing list don't forget your list shows you the type of um, the leads that coming through a particular product sales funnel for a product so which product so you would know which product they are coming in for you would be able to make informed decisions with that 
So if you have a list, I have two lists here, but no, I'm going to use a new list and I'm going to create this list as email marketing list. List description, you can also describe it, but this I'm still going to leave it as email marketing list. So I'll just say, so here I come and I select my list, email marketing list, email marketing list, click out, email marketing list, and save. So we move on to tag. Do you want to tag customers when they come in? Yes, tag the customers. And what is the tag name? Click here to get your ebook, email marketing tag email marketing tag you click on add so we've tagged our customers you do that for all the price points email marketing tag email marketing tag add and you do that for the last price points so email marketing tag and click on add then you click on save so as you can see the three customers and um, the three price points were tagged so if I had only tagged one price point, you'd be seeing just one here, but I tagged the three of them. Now you're seeing three price points here. So for your OCP, where do you want to send them? Do you want to send them to um, a membership portal? Do you want to allow them to download a file? Do you want them to um, have access to a page? What is this OCP for? So for a membership portal, you would click softlink membership. This is my membership portal. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to allow them to download a file. This is a downloadable ebook file. So I click on download ebook file. And here you click on your file. So select file to download or upload a new file. So if you have files in your file vault, you would come here and click on the file you want them to um, download. So I can just come here and say soft link letter this is a pdf file so this is what they would get it will be sent to their mail but these other two are video files so if even if it's a video file you can also send to the mail but for the purpose of this video i would click pdf file because we said ebook and i save you do the same thing for the second price point pick your file do the same thing for the third price point and pick your file and save And we move on to the next. And congratulations, you have successfully created your OCP product. So what do you want to do? What's next? You can copy this, your OCP product, and send to people manually, or copy your OCP, OCP product link and paste it on your landing page. So let's preview our OCP products. So It's always good to test out your product before sending it out to your customers. Always test out your buttons, always test out your links, your tags, everything before um, dishing it out to your customers. So let me reload this. Okay, so this is how my OCP looks. I have the color green as a team because I picked the green team for my product. So this is how it is. If your customers want to pay in different I, um, currencies, the US dollar is 50, $50 and the pound is 10 pounds. So they impute their details and they go ahead to make payments. Okay, so let's go ahead to impute our details. click on continue so as you can see this is the different buttons that they will pick. click here to get your ebook now click here to get your ebook now monthly payments click here to get your ebook now this is also monthly but installments please no this is a one-time payment this is the one-time payment if i click this button you will see that this is a recurring payment or if i click this button they would see that this is an instrumental payment so whichever your customers like they just go ahead to pick and click on checkout so let me pick on 
click on one time payments let me click naira as you can see the amount changed the currency changed so this would be naira and i'll click on checkout or let's pay make payments And that's how to create a that's how to create that OCP product on software.